Editing videos the old way is dead. If you're still spending hours in After Effects or struggling in Premiere, you're probably already falling behind. AI video editing has come a long way, and tools like Riverside are changing what's possible. Right now, content is everything, and with the new wave of tools, it's completely changed how fast you can be and how good your edits can be. Hey, I'm Mike Russell, and in this video, I'll share with you a complete tutorial on how to edit videos fast with AI. Let's dive in. Now I'll be using a tool called Riverside, which is my favorite video editing tool right now. I can simply log in, hit record here. Now the coolest thing is I can join my recording studio like this, and here I am ready to record right inside a web browser. No software-based editing on your computer. Hit record, it's gonna count you down. Four, three, two, one. Hello. Hey, my name is Mike Russell, and this is an example of recording into the cloud. Now, it doesn't stop there because I can actually mark the clip right here with a marker if I need to go back and edit something later on. I can also go in and click the share button. Now, this is really cool because I can share my screen or a Chrome tab. So any Chrome tab that I want to share, I can select it, hit share, and now it's gonna pop me over to the right, and this is the Riverside website that I can go around, navigate, show you different parts of the website, and this is all appearing as part of my recording. But what's more, I can also click in to change the layout right here. So I can have this, or I can have a double view. I can also change how I look when I'm presenting the screen, so I can be in a nice little circle, or a little rectangle like this. It's really, really cool. Click stop and that will upload a high quality recording of me and my screen share right here. It's really nearly done because it's uploading constantly even while I'm recording. And then when it's done, it will make this purple and I can go to my project. When you've recorded, Riverside is packed with awesome AI features and they're designed to make your editing fast. I'll show you how to edit your complete recording from start to finish. Here's a finished podcast that we have here. And the first thing we can notice here, if I actually go ahead and play some of our speaker. As you said that, do not think... So as you can hear there, so much room echo, microphone is far away, but no worries, our AI tools can fix this. Magic audio is right here, and I can just pick the speaker that I want to apply it to, turn the magic audio right up to 100%, and let's listen to our speaker again. So as you said that, do not think... That is incredible, we have high quality speech with just the click of a button. We can also go in and split up the tracks down here so we get a traditional audio and video editor. But more importantly, I can select this guest's track, go into the track settings and actually add different EQ settings like a bass boost or smooth vocals or even crisp and clear, whatever I feel is appropriate for my speaker. And as you've seen a little bit when I was recording, I can click over here into layouts and I can choose different layouts. Smart layouts will allow the AI to decide, but I can also choose a grid pattern, which is what we have here, or a picture in picture, where we have the main speaker on screen with the guest host down there in a little picture. Whatever our preference is, it can be done with one click in Riverside. Also, there's auto-generated B-roll, so I can play this. It makes it infinity too. So our speaker is saying it makes it infinity too, and maybe right there at that point, I want a nice little bit of B-roll. I can go over here to the videos section, and you'll see when it pops open, it will give me the opportunity to choose from stock videos. Now I could search here, type the word infinity, and we get like skies and the universe, and stars, that's great. But actually, I want to generate my B-roll, and I'm gonna type in here, an infinity symbol glowing and rotating. Okay, and we can generate it with audio if we like using the VO3 model. We also have Pika 2.2 available. I'll click to generate. Okay, and we've got a beautiful infinity symbol there, so I can go ahead and click that. It will then be inserted onto my timeline. I can go ahead and drag this around and actually make it the right size for my video. I can also use the zoom feature here to zoom right in on this and actually line it up correctly so we can listen. And which makes it infinity too. And that is fantastic. <laughs> yes. So we might want to cut that to size so I can trim it down like this. Okay, now we've trimmed this infinity symbol to size. It looks absolutely fantastic. But we'll notice even here in the audio view that our speaker is much quieter than the other speaker here. No problem. I can select the track, go into track settings, and we'll just boost her speaking volume up a little bit. Now you'll see the waveform gets louder down there. Let's go even louder. And now we'll start to see that this is matching. Let's play. The, uh, also the end. 
Which makes it infinity too. <laughs> And then we get a nice, louder, spoken piece of audio that matches our guest and the Infinity B-roll. Just for good measure, I'll go back to my videos tab, I'll generate some more B-roll, this time I'll switch to Pika 2.2, and I'll say a mirror with Infinity LED effect. Notice this also allows you to actually upload content if you want to do that. So do you know what I will? And I'll actually select our guest speaker here that we can use. I'll confirm that that's okay. And person looking into it. And then we'll go ahead and generate this. Okay, looks like it's nearly complete. That's generated. Let's insert this here on the timeline. Now we've inserted and expanded that AI generated B-roll. Let's play. Yes. So you see, and we oh, have in our heart, this is zero point field. Well, that's a pretty wild bit of B-roll, but you can see the potential of this to use people, little elements, photos that you've taken, or just completely generate something from scratch. Okay, now before we export and publish this video, let's go to our co-creator and have some fun making some social assets for it. Let's ask this question. I've typed, find me the most powerful quotes from this episode, and we'll let the co-creator go to work. And here we go, one, two, three. These are great for sending off to social media, but now I'll say, use one of these quotes in a thumbnail for this episode. Now it's gone ahead and generated a thumbnail. Look at this, it's absolutely fantastic. So it's a combination of prompting there where I've asked for the most powerful quotes and then to put one of those powerful quotes into an AI generated thumbnail. And you'll see here, it's perfectly cloned both of our speakers here and put the nice quote on the thumbnail. But it doesn't stop there. I can say make a vertical thumbnail too. It's generating the image. And look at this, it's generated two vertical thumbnails that look absolutely incredible. When we're good with this edit, we can go to export and export in any video quality size up to 4K by clicking the export video. We can also grab the audio only in high quality WAV or MP3 file, and we can export the timeline if we want to go further into other video editors and edit and finalize little details. But do you know what? The fun doesn't end there. Not only does it make us show notes using AI over here, which look absolutely fantastic, we also get magic clips, which are edits of our show, and they're scored by their likelihood to go viral. This one looks pretty good, so I'll actually go into the editor. And again, I can do more video editing here as it loads on the screen this short. Let's play it. What what do we what do you look at karma as? So as you said. So you can see it's cutting out all the fluff and the pauses. Now we had a double up here, so I'm actually going to delete this part and start the short from here. What do you look at karma as? So as you said that do not think bad because this will will be will go back to you okay so this is great i'm really liking the edit here now i can go ahead and pull in some captions so i'll select captions choose my favorite style maybe we'll go for this one right here and we can position this where we like so we can maybe pop it up here and the best thing is we can also make it a little bit bigger or smaller so whatever we want we can make it as big or as small as we like by moving these handles around so that we can eventually play back what do you look at karma as so as you said that now if we want to refine some of those automatic edits for our short we can be really specific we can actually go ahead and select here on this waveform and make sure that each part is getting played appropriately by moving this around so we get the edits absolutely spot on and again over here let's make this perfect and play what do you look at karma so you, as you said that and we've got a much smoother audio edit there once we're happy with our full edit using timeline editor zoom in and out and the ability to do text-based editing we can go up here to export and pull it down as video audio or into another video editor if we need. It really is as simple as that. Now you know the cool functionalities of Riverside, you can confidently edit your own videos with ease in minutes, not hours. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite AI feature that you've seen so far that you're gonna use every single day? If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, like this video, and YouTube is showing a video on your screen now, you should watch next. Thanks.